I was really excited today because we are out here on the Tamales Bay with 22 educators from Marin County um, that teach grades 6 through 12. They are all science teachers and have agreed to participate in the NOAA Be Wet grant. Our focus for this grant is understanding our ocean and bay backyard. And we're really happy to collaborate with the Marin County Office of Education to share these amazing coastal places with teachers so that they have a sense of place and connection to their own backyard that their students are right near and have influence over with their actions and have influence for for conservation. So while we're out here, keep your eyes open because the whole idea is we're exploring. So we want you intentionally with all your observation skills out, exploring and really getting in tune with what you see, with what you hear, with what you smell, and with what you feel. And while you're doing that, what are you noticing that's what we would call phenomena or phenomenal? What are you seeing that's like, oh, how is this? What is this? What makes you want to think? And just let yourself go there. With the next generation science standards that are now in place, it offers an amazing opportunity to connect to our local watersheds, our local um, outdoor places and phenomena. So teachers can really use these places as places for investigations so that students have a little bit more connection to what they're learning in the classroom since it's their backyard. And so they're gonna have a lot more sense of interest in these topics. Also, we're in the shadow right here of Hog Island, so you can see eddy lines coming in from either side because our current, I believe, is still going out right now. Today, we had an amazing day on the bay, and we saw harbor seals and jellies and cormorants, a type of seabird, and lots of little invertebrates while we explored the eelgrass habitats in Tamales Bay, which we learned are really precious valuable habitats for an ecosystem supporting life, but also offering a lot of benefits to absorbing carbon from the water and the air and burying it and acting as a buffering for the, the shoreline. And we had a scientist with us, Melissa Ward from Bodega Marine Lab, who shared a little bit about her research about measuring the ocean chemistry inside these eelgrass beds and measuring them outside these eelgrass beds. Basically, if you follow the chemistry all the way through, the carbonic acid breaks apart and it forms bicarbonate and hydrogen ions, and then the bicarbonate breaks apart, and then some of those protons, or the hydrogen ions, go back to form with carbonate. And we care about that because carbonate ions are what oysters, or basically anything that builds a hard part, uses to build its shell. So that's the pedagogy shift, that our teachers will experience the science. They'll develop lessons that invite students to experience, question, and wonder the science and be connected to it. They are our future citizens, so we want our students to experience it, appreciate it, and then find the urgency to preserve it.